Hey guys, KT here. Welcome back to some more Soul Calibur 6, where uh, last time we covered the last bit of uh, Aswell's story, uh, which surprisingly does not have an extra on top of it, which is crazy. Uh, but now we're going on to the next set, which covers Ivy. And it looks like after Ivy's story, we're going straight to Cervantes, which is going to be interesting that... Where, where, where does this take place? Where does Killick's story start? Right here? Yeah. It's right in between. Or no. It's in between Killick's story. That's crazy. Alright. Makes me wonder, like, what all is going to happen since it's in between and doesn't take place prior. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and do the Fall of the Valentines. See how this plays out. I mean, Ivy's going to be interesting. Just because, like, it's hit or miss with me on her. Like, at least her moves that wise. Though born to the noble house of Valentine, the young lady knew not only good fortune, but also despair. Her father delved into alchemy in search of the key to eternal youth, Soul Edge, but found only madness and death. As a result, their house met with ruin. Her mother, before being consumed by a terrible illness, revealed to her they were not related by blood. Even so, the young lady's love for her parents was unfaltering. Following in the footsteps of her father, she devoted her life to alchemy and eventually found herself faced with the truth about Soul Edge. This can't be Soul Edge. This evil thing. This is what drove my father to madness? Soul Edge. Such a thing does not belong in this world. On my family's name, I vow to destroy it by my own hands. Okay. If Soul Edge is indeed the strongest weapon of all, I shall need to obtain an even stronger weapon with which to destroy it. I know exactly what I need. A shape-shifting blade, both sword and whip, that obeys my will. That is the answer. But how? Damn, I refuse to give up! Wh what in the world? Cross of the Pledge shall confer upon thee the point in the escutcheon of destruction, Dexter Perpure. It's alive! Did I succeed? Yes, Dexter Perpure. Wait, who are you? The time will come. It is inevitable. Oh, was that Nightmare? Just you wait, Soul Edge. With this sword, all shall be carved to pieces. Okay. <laughs> I'll cut her some slack. She might, she might actually do it. To be fair, I, I think it's crazy because I actually like Ivy's story. I don't like her design, at least the outfit-wise, but I like her in general. Ivy set out on a long journey in search for Soul Edge. And the mysterious being who had breathed life into her beloved sword. Along the way, she encountered many people, including another who sought Soul Edge. Ooh. Who are we fighting? Hmm. Or is it, is it just going to be conversation? I, I don't know. Let's see what we got. You must be that woman from the West who's searching for Soul Edge. What if I am? Who are you to insult the Sword of Salvation? The Sword of Salvation? <laughs> Aren't you adorable? Let me give you some advice. If you really know nothing, then it's best you turn back now, little girl. Don't treat me like a child! Let's see how your sword fares against me! Yeah, you're gonna get your ass kicked, sorry. <laughs> like, honestly, though. But yeah, no, like, for the most part, Ivy's design isn't too terrible. I, it's really the outfit for me. Uh, I feel like a few altercations, I might actually enjoy it. Like, I like the arm sleeves. I like, 
overall like the aesthetic is going for i guess for me it's just i'm not a big fan of characters when they have li little to no protection of clothing like i i don't mind if they're like doing something where where uh you know she did have some exposed skin but i feel like with ivy it's a little much and it's just my opinion though i know there's people out there who really enjoy ivy's design Okay. Shit, shit. Oh, okay. I, I don't think there's ring out. But still, like, that's just me, in my opinion, because it's just how I feel. Shit. I'll make you submit. Yo. There we go. Oh, that's pretty dope. Enjoy. Your treat. No. Give it up already. At least she Stand stays with her attitude where it's kind of like a dumb matrix kind of view. I'm not gonna lie. Just the fact of the step. Oh, yes! Say, she has the same move. I love it. I'm surprised. I thought for a second it was going to go in the counter, but I guess not. God, the swords always hit or miss with me. I know, uh, in Soul Calibur 4, you can switch between, like, a sword, with the sword, sword, and the whip. But in this one, it feels like it's a combination, where it just goes with the combat. Like, you can't just switch between fighting styles. No! I'm not done yet. More fighting will only end in the same result. You're too weak. Farewell. Hey! Get back here! So, I'm not the only one looking for Soul Edge. I mean, are you really that shocked, Ivy? Face to face with the Azur Knight. Her seemingly never ending journey led her to uh, Ostrenburg. And the benefactor she was searching for, Nightmare. The Azur Knight, who he wore, covered him from head to toe, uh, leaving only his mutated arm exposed. Though unable to hide her curiosity at the sight, Ivy knew she had to repay her debt. Oh, okay. shake hands with a demon if it aided me in my revenge. I intend to pay my debts. Is that so? In that case, Dexter the Pure, I shall require your assistance. My will shall be done. Uh, that name does not sit well. Either she's talking about Nightmare's name or the fact that he keeps referring to her as Dexter Lefer. Nightmare told Ivy of his wish to return his father's soul to this world the, through the art of resurrection. Nothing about uh, the situation appeared normal. To make matters worse, she found something deceitfully uncaught about the other companion with whom she would be working with, a hunting giant by the name of Astaroth. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Look at you! Fleeing for your lives! Escape is futile! <laughs> Impetuous fool! Soul harvesting? Don't make me laugh! <gasps> I can't give up! Hmm. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm fighting some random guy in armor. Cool. I love that. Well, let's see how, how this plays out. Hopefully, it'll play out in my favor. Fingers crossed. All right, 
we go. Oh, I can't even do cruise with the curve. Oh, I mean, I guess it makes sense. Come on, we got this. I love how Ivy has a higher chance of stunning than most other characters. I think this is the most I've gotten it. Hey, why'd you let him go? You kill too much. We have enough for now. Does it matter? There are plenty of them. And resurrection requires many more. Even so, you should show restraint. I am not here to assist you in a massacre. <coughs> oh, this is going to cause issues, isn't it? This is probably why she left after uh, fighting Zhenghua. I already understood too well the pain of losing a father, but massacring people and harvesting their souls to bring someone back was something she couldn't uh, counter... Counter... Countenance couldn't con I can't remember. I can't read that word. Her anguish ran deep. So hold on, hold on. Was Siegfried's story all about resurrecting his father? Was that. I do not remember Siegfried's story that well. Was that the whole purpose? In, in uh, Soul Edge? Alchemists have strived to achieve resurrection, but to no avail. All this is to bring your father back. But could it all really be so simple? His words have no ring of truth to them. More souls! I must have more souls! Why does that fiend have such an unquenchable thirst? I'm done. I cannot go on like this. Well, it makes sense why she, uh, why she was helping Nightmare to begin with, even though she has, he has the weapon she wants revenge for. Just because of the fact that, I guess, she didn't understand, like, what exactly was going on. Ivy decided to part ways with Nightmare and company. However, Astaroth wasn't simply about to watch in silence as she cut ties with them. Yeah, it sounds like Astaroth. Probably gonna be over here like, well, if you ain't gonna be with us, we gonna take your soul. And where are you going? I'm fed up with your methods. It's as simple as that. And I have my own purpose. Your own purpose? You fool. The soul edge you search for has been in front of you all this time. While I admit his sword does emanate an unusual aura, it would be pointless for him to keep me so close. He knows I seek to destroy Soul Edge. So naive. <laughs> I suggest you wipe that smile off your face. Or would you prefer me to wipe it off for you? Irksome wench! You'll see. As of right now, you're on my list of souls to harvest. Yeah, I figured that was going to be the case. I would say it would have been too simple if it was just simply <coughs> you're betraying the Azur Knight. We must kill you. It, it was going to be, hey, we're going to take your soul if you're leaving. That's that's your payment for walking out. I'm not shocked, to be honest. Well, let's see how this plays out. Hopefully it plays out in my favor. Guys, it's so weird seeing Astaroth because we've only fought him once. Come on, we got this. Yo! <laughs> what was that fucking stab? She like full on fucking hip thrusted into that staff. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, Astroth, calm down. I guess he was. The game's getting tired of me making him a fool. 
shit! Yeah, Come on. Oh shit! Duck your own grave. Oh. There we go. Fuck you, Astra. Yeah. The fact that he is still moving the way he is. Okay, here we go. Yo, we finally got. Yo, I will take that. Yo. Yo, I didn't even realize. Yo, I am learning new combos with Ivy. That makes two of us. I swear, like I said, I think Ivy is just more prone for stun attacks than other characters. I'll make you submit. Enjoy your treat. Give it up already. Whoa, whoa, hold up. The fact that he still Perhaps survived. Now you'll tell me what you know. I thought it was over. And then he was like, nah, I'm back up, motherfucker. You impudent little spare vessel. Spare vessel? <clears throat> what? Okay, I'll head there now. Running away? <laughs> I have more important fish to fry. Don't worry, your turn will come. Don't you walk away from me. Tell me what you know. Oh, is there more to this? I I'm actually shocked. I mean, I guess it makes sense. A lot of hers was... Okay. Cursed bloodline. Racked by the inexpressive anxiety, Ivy decided to ask Nightmare himself for the truth. But the closer she got to his living quarters, the more anxious she became until it was written all over her face. Are we going to have the battle or is it just going to bring up, like, Ivy's parents? I mean, I'm very interested to see what this is. We're just going to go ahead and play it through. I, I, I don't think it's going to be that long. Nightmare. Soul Edge. Why? I wouldn't if I were you. You can't win in your present state. Out of my way! I don't care who you are. But perhaps you could share with me what you know. This blade contains a fragment of Soul Edge. It is reacting violently to your weapon. And to you. You seek the truth, but perhaps you already know it. Daughter of the Cursed Sword. No! That's not possible! Huh? I mean... I'm going to act confused even though I know a majority of Soul Calibur's history. I'm over here like, what? No, I didn't know that. It wasn't known prior to this game. <clears throat> I mean, honestly, though. I mean, when you, when it's labeled the Cursed Bloodline, you kind of already knew what was going to happen. Alright, I'm Fight. guessing this is the final Damn. battle. The Soul. It's the truth. Accept it. Yeah, nice try, Taki. We, we ain't playing that game. Come on, we got this. There we go. Do a little spin with the whip. The fact that that's done, though. What? Blade, show me your power. Evil powers can't hurt me. That. Counter strike. 
Strength. Strength that comes from evil. Get away from me! It's up to you whether you believe me or not. But I've fought one who wielded the cursed sword before. Do not take me for a fool! That eldritch aura that envelops you. If I closed my eyes, I'd believe it was Cervantes himself. Think, who is your real father? You're lying! So long. I refuse to believe it until I see it for myself. Nightmare. Damn you. I'll be shot. Okay. I never crossed paths with Nightmare. It appears someone defeated the Azure Knight. As for what happened to Soul Edge, I know not. It's possible the one who vanquished Nightmare has it, or it could have been destroyed. Still, I feel it. A terrible evil calls out to me from somewhere in the world. Yes. I have accepted my fate. I am daughter to the Cursed Sword, the heir of an accursed lineage. So I have made a vow. A vow to obliterate the Cursed Sword and rid my own blade of evil. That is the sole purpose for which I now live. That ass, though. <laughs> the names of the warriors whose fates were bound to the two swords have been etched into the very fibers of history. That was an interesting one, I'm not gonna lie. Alright. <laughs> I see Cervantes. It's weird how Cervantes is still in the timeline. When technically he's dead, I, that's so weird. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead. And we're gonna end it here. If you enjoy, make sure to like, subscribe. Check out the links in the description below. It really helps out, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Uh...